Hello everyone. In the previous lecture, we have discussed the bisection method. In this video, we will try to code the bisection method in MATLAB. Recalling the bisection method, we initially have a function say f of x equals to 0 whose roots lie in the initial interval a and b such that f of a and f of b are of opposite sign. So by the intermediate value property there will definitely exist a root between a and b. So by default we have considered that f of a is negative and f of b is positive and then we will start the bisection method with step 1 by finding the midpoint and finding the nature how the function behaves on m will give us the next required interval. Let us move to the code directly. Before starting the code, let us understand that after plotting a function f of x, it is not compulsory that it has only one root. It may have multiple roots. Considering this as my x-axis and this is my point 0 and this is my positive axis, this is my negative axis. In the positive axis, the function is having three roots and in the negative axis, my function is having five roots. We have in the bisection method, we have to find one root of a function. It does not say in which interval. You can consider your interval as per your convenience. If the initial interval is given, then there is no issue. But if the initial interval is not given, then we have to find the initial interval where the intermediate value property will hold. Let us start the code. Firstly, we will use the input function to read the function entered by the user. After that, we have to find the initial interval. To find the initial interval, I am considering a for loop starting from minus 10 with the increment of 1 and terminal point as 10. Please note that I have used this for loop starting from minus 10. You can initialize this for loop from any number provided that there must exist one root between the initial and terminal point you have considered. Let A is equals to and B is equals to A plus 1 using the print statement here this print statement is printing the function value at a and the function value at b i hope you know that this percent d is for a and this percent f is for f of b similarly this percent d is for b and this percent f is for f of b now we have to check if the intermediate value property hold between a and b or not if the intermediate value property holds then f of a and f of b are of opposite signs and if f of a and f of b are of opposite signs then their product is always going to be negative so we will check if f of a 
and f of b product is negative then root lies in interval a and b and if we have find the initial interval we will break this loop otherwise we will make the increment in a and b this loop will ends here and so does here defining the tolerance till what decimal places do we want our root to be correct for the next step we have to find the midpoint of the initial interval and after finding the midpoint we have to find what nature does the function holds at n and also at which sub interval does my intermediate value property hold and according to that we will update the value of a and b so for that we will start the for loop starting from 1 with the increment 1 till 100 this i is for my iteration the iteration will start from 1 and goes until the iteration number 100 finding the midpoint m is equals to a plus b by here f of n is equals to f of now we have to find the sub interval where the intermediate value property holds for that if the intermediate value property will hold between a and m then we will update the value of b as m and printing iteration i a and b otherwise otherwise the intermediate value property will hold between m and b and in that case we will update the value of a as m and using the same print statement for the iteration number percent d the value of a 
एंड द वैल्यू ऑफ बी दिस लूप विल एंड्स आफ्टर फाइंडिंग द इंटरवल वी नेक्स्ट वी नेक्स्ट हैव टू चेक इफ द स्टॉपिंग क्राइटेरिया होल्ड्स और नॉट फॉर दैट वी विल अगेन यूज एन इफ कंडीशन वेयर the absolute value of a minus b should be less than the tolerance we have defined earlier and if this condition holds then we will break this loop and get out of this code otherwise we will continue this for loop again after some intervals the root will be the root is approximately equals to percent f and number of iterations b percent d where percent f is for the value a and percent d is for the value i please know that i have considered the final root here as a but you may take it as b or you can also use the final root as the midpoint of a and b further i hope you have made an understanding of this code if you still have any doubts regarding this code please let me know in the comment section thank you